some examples of this and, and facilitation of uh, relatedness is, you know, it really getting involved in family activities, um, in games that you play as families. Uh, I know that, um, again, for some of our children who might be um, at maybe a lower cognitive level or physical level, it's difficult to think sometimes of how we can get them involved when the rest of the family is sitting down to play a game. But even if it's a matter of if you're, um, if you're playing Yahtzee, I don't know if people even play Yahtzee anymore, but it's one of my favorite games. Even if you can help the child shake the dice and throw the dice in, and they're your partner in the game. And so they're helping you in there. That's the whole feeling. Playing games is about relatedness. It's really about um, other human beings and, and, uh, and, and, and the competition piece, which I love, and going back and forth and having that fun with others. Family table. Um, I know that sometimes when we have kiddos that have feeding difficulties um, that we don't always consider them. It's like, no, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna get them fed first. And then we can sit down and we can have our meal. But I just suggest to you how important that is. Yes, feed them ahead of time, but still have a place for them at the family table. That's where we really get all that. We talk about the day. We talk about, um, you know, who we are as a family. And it's a really important, um, I think, family activity.